welcome back to my YouTube channel. This week's video is slightly different because it's not a tutorial, it's going to be more of see what I did and see how it turned out kind of video because this piece here was actually purchased by me from Facebook Marketplace quite a few years ago with the intention of painting it and it's been in my storage unit ever since. I've been pretty uninspired to paint it and I've also been going through my paint, my unpainted pieces, trying to slim them down because I've got three storage units and that's excessive to say the least. So this piece was gonna be one of the pieces that I was actually gonna sell on Facebook Marketplace unpainted, let somebody else have it, but I couldn't sell it unpainted and it was up for a very reasonable price so I decided to get a little bit experimental with colour and technique and I'll show you exactly what I did and how I came up with the finished piece. So this is how it started out. It's in okay condition. The handles have got a little bit of rust on them and there was some damage to the top where the varnish had gone a little bit cracked. So as with all my pieces, I clean them with Dixie Bell's White Lightning Cleaner. And then what I did with my electric sander is just remove the areas where the varnish was kind of cracked. And that's just gonna give me a nice smooth base to apply my paint onto because if you applied it onto crack varnish, then you would probably see that through the paintwork. So if you do have any areas of damage, it's always good to sand those smooth first. I wasn't really sure what I was doing with this piece, but I definitely knew I wanted pink. So I started out with one of the newest pinks in the Dixie Belle range, and this is called Cottage Door, and it's from the Chalk Mineral Paint range. And then I also started out putting some apricot in the center, and just kind of really roughly blended it out because I knew I wanted to add lots and lots of layers and depth to this piece. As I mentioned, this was quite an experimental piece, so I wanted to try out some new techniques, or new to me anyway. So this is actually an ink roller, and it's part of a kit that I already had, and I really wanted to try using it to create lots of layers and build up colors and depth. So this colour I'm using now is Colonel Mustard and then I also went in with a little bit of Vintage Duck Egg and now I'm going over the top again with that soft apricot colour and I also went over that again with Cottage Door. Like I say, lots of colours used and very kind of experimental as well. Once I'd added lots and lots of layers, you can still see the main colour is still pink, but there are hints of those other colours as well peeking through. It's such a cool technique and it was really, really enjoyable. And because the piece is fairly flat on the front, apart from the really decorative handles, there's not really much going on. I was going to add a little bit of shading with the colour Coffee Bean. This is just going to go around draw edges and just add little hints here and there of like a darker shade. Once I'd worked on all those layers, it did take quite a few hours to build those up, but once I was happy with the placement of them and everything was dry, I then went in with my electric sander with a very fine grit paper. This was a 320 grit, and this is just gonna help smooth any unwanted texture out, and it's also just gonna soften those layers slightly. I then mixed a colour wash of the colour terracotta and just started to go over the dried down layers and I also introduced a little bit of peony as well. I just felt like this needed a little bit more colour and vibrancy. So the terracotta and the peony going over are not full coverage. You can still see the layers of those colours underneath that I've built up but this is just going to add a little bit more variation to the colours and also just give that really kind of nice bohemian kind of feel. Like I say, this was very experimental, so it was kind of 
as I went along, I just kind of experimented with things and hoped for the best. And I think it turned out okay in the end. I'm also dry brushing on a little bit of the cottage door here. So I guess the main colours you can see in this piece are cottage door, terracotta and peony. If you look at this close up, you can see the other colours peeking through that I layered up earlier in the video. But if you wanted to recreate this look and you didn't want to buy all of the different colours that I've used, you could probably get away with creating something very similar with cottage door, terracotta and peony. If you've watched my content before or seen any of my other videos, you'll know that I love to finish my pieces with wax. However, because this is going to be a dressing table or a desk or a console table, whatever it's going to be used as, I decided it needed a little bit more durability on the top. So I'm using the top coat Terra Tough. Now, this top coat has been especially designed to be used with Terra Clay paint. And I've used it many, many times with Terra, but you can also use it with other products in the Dixie Bowl range as well. It is compatible with other product lines like chalk mineral paint, which I'm using it over now. The best way to apply this, I found personally, is with a foam and dandy brush. This is the largest size that Dixie Bowl carry, and it's perfect for really large flat surfaces like this one. I just lay it all down super quick and then before it's had a chance to dry I just go over the entire piece laying it off in one direction, in this case left to right. For the rest of the piece I use Best Dang Wax in clear and I just applied that with a sponge. So I quite often do this if I top coat the top for durability I'll often wax the body of the piece because obviously that's not going to get as much wear and tear and use as the top and then once I'd applied the clear wax I just applied a little bit of best down wax in brown around the edges I like to lay this down with a chip brush just in the areas that I want to place it quite roughly and then what I'll do is I'll go in with my original blue sponge that I applied my clear wax with and just kind of buff it out and make it a little bit softer The inside of the drawers just needed a good clean and they were in pretty good condition but the wood was kind of dried out a little bit so I used Big Mama's Butter with a Lapite brush because it's got a little point on the end and you can get in all the nooks and crannies and I just applied a coat of Big Mama's Butter over the interior of the drawers and then I wiped the excess off with a shop cloth. I also conditioned the drawer runners on this because they were solid wood and they were a little bit stiff so I just applied a little coat on there just to make them glide nice and smoothly. The original handles went back on once I'd cleaned them up and then I just applied a really light dusting of gold gilding wax over the surface just to give them a little bit of sparkle. Here's a few close-ups of the finished piece. On the close-ups you can just see those other colours that I layered down early on in the video but if you did want to recreate a look similar to this without having to get all of those different colours that I used you could use a base of cottage door and then layer peony and terracotta over the top and that would give you a really similar effect. Thank you for watching the video I hope you've enjoyed it I've definitely enjoyed creating it although it has been in my workshop for far too long now so I will be glad to see the back of it when it goes to my storage unit as always I'd love it if you could subscribe to the channel and I will catch you next time bye